Hello, here is another problem and uh, let's first read it properly and then try to solve it, right? So first step always is to read the problem and understand it. A manufacturer of art supplies makes templates by cutting out right triangles with perimeter of 60 cm from plastic sheets. If the hypotenuse of each triangle is 25 cm, find the length of two sides of the triangle. Okay, so that means there is a right angle triangle. Let's try to make one. So, let's say this is our right angle triangle. Okay, now it's given that the hypotenuse is 25. So, let this be 25. And let this be X and let this be Y. And this is the right angle triangle. Correct? So, that's the triangle we have for the time being. Now, uh, what are we given? by cutting out right triangles with perimeter of 60. So perimeter is sum of all these three sides, right? So we know that the sum of these three sides is 60 centimeters. So we can write like x plus y plus 25 is equal to 60, correct? So that's our first relation. Now here we see that we got two variables. Therefore, we need to convert one in terms of another. Correct? So let's do it now. We can write y is equals to, we can say y is equal to, we'll take these things on that side, 60 minus 25 minus x, which is 60 minus 25 is uh, how much? 35, right? Minus x. So that is y in terms of x. Correct? Now, we need another relation to figure out how to relate these things so that we can find x and y. Well, you remember the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared is 25 squared, right? So we can write that as x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 squared, right? Now, you can write y as 35 minus x and then expand it, okay? So we got x squared plus 35 minus x whole square equals to 25 square 625 correct so we'll expand this and then simplify right plus 35 square so 35 times 35 is what 35 times 35 is 1225 times 2 times ab which is minus 70 x plus x square equals to 625. Now we'll bring the terms together on one side and then have a simplified form of this quadratic equation. Now square plus x square is 2x square minus 70x and 1225 minus 625 is uh, 1225 minus 625, 25, 25, 0, and this is 600, right? Plus 600 equals to 0. Now, we can factor out 2 from here, 2, and then we get x squared minus 35x plus 300 equals to 0. And to solve this, we need to factor 35, uh, uh, 335 so we need product of 300 so we need two numbers whose product p times q is 300 and p plus q is minus 35 that means both are actually same signs and what the two numbers could be so we can figure out as so we, what we can do is we can do like this 30 times 10 30 times 10 can give us 300 and then 30 is can be written as 15 times 2 15 times 2 is 30 uh, we need 35 when you add them so so the two numbers could be uh, 35 is 50 35 so 10 times 20, 20, and 
15. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So we'll have this combination. Correct. 10 times 2 is 20 and 20 plus 15 is 35. We get it. So finally we got a number. This is kind of tricky. Since we need minus, both should be minus. Correct? Yes. So we can write this as, so that means the middle term can be split and we can write this as both will be minus because this is minus 35, right? So, so we can write this as minus 15 times minus 20, correct? So we can write this as x minus 15 times x minus 20 equals to 0, correct? So that's what we get. Therefore, x could be either 15 or 20. So these are the two possible answers. So x equals to 15 or 20 is it okay now if we take x as 15 then in that case y should be 35 minus 15 which gives us 20 okay so that means one side is 15 the other side is 20 right so now we can write down the answer that the sides should be how much sides so if the hypotenuse of each triangle is 25 centimeter find the length of two sides of the triangle so the length of the two sides of the triangle are 15 centimeter and 20 centimeter respectively do you get it yeah so this is what it is remember this technique of factoring this kind of very important or if you want you can use quadratic formula right if you use quadratic formula you will immediately get two roots more calculations involved so do that okay but I think you get how to do, you get the approach. So we had two variables here. One relation was with the parameter given as 60. So we added x and y and 25 to get 60. The other was Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared 25. Then we wrote, substituted y in terms of x. And then we had an equation in x which we solved and got our answer as 15 centimeter and 20 centimeter for the size. So the triangle will be 15 by 20 by 25, okay? Yeah, thank you.